Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Other Man's Life. My name is Ali. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're keeping well. So now I'm continuing on in this episode with my journey of modularizing the Lego Friends Community Kitchen and Center set to fit into the Lego City. Um, the challenge I set myself is that I'm not going to have this modular building on a standard 32 by 32 base plate, but rather a half base plate of 16 by 32 um, base plate. And I'm only working with one set um, of each, the community kitchen and the community center. In the previous ep episode, I looked at and we modularized the community kitchen set. This one, we're going to go for the blue story and the blue floor of the community center, which is the music studio, trying to keep the original essence and theme and probably digging into my spare parts collection to fill out the complete modular. All right, let's get into it. It's a shame I could not utilize the existing base plates that this, uh, that came with the original sets as it's quite bigger than the real estate that I'm working with, which is, again, 20 studs long and 10 studs deep. I'm sure this will become very handy in some future builds, but for this building, uh, I have to put it to one side. Now for the actual base plate for this module which is the recording studio um, i didn't have white plates uh, which is a shame uh, because the original set had you know the uh, all the layers had a nice little white layer going across for each of the stories and the floors sorry so uh, I, you know, you can only do what you do with, with the parts that you have. So I think we're going to have to have a line of light bluish gray going up for each floor. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to look when we, when we put it all together, but uh, let's just roll with it and see how that works. And if it doesn't work, then I can always go and order um, and get some white uh, base plates to adjust but anyway, um, in terms of the play features that came with the original set, I had, didn't have to reduce the size of them that much. I mean, the stage actually had the exact perfect dimensions to fit in really snugly and nicely uh, in uh, the 10 by uh, 20 uh base plate width so that, that works quite nicely actually so i'm happy with that and i love this little keyboard piano uh kind of build and then obviously the holder for the um for the guitar and then these gears these big splat uh, ge uh gears i call them paint splat gears because uh, they look like paint splats to me <laughs> Uh, but I think this is going to look, I love these kind of gears when they, when they start working. So it's really cool that I managed to keep, uh, I think, the original play features of this floor from the original set. So it keeps the essence of it. So let's start putting them in because it's easier to put uh, the interiors in before we move forward. Now that, that goes there, that's for sure. And then this goes, ooh, let's put that into here. And then this becomes the stage coming through now let's just test this out because i really like this let's put that there and hey yeah, 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 yeah. i wonder what song she's going to be singing oh i'm gonna have to add some music and create a short on this i think that's pretty cool all right you can go over here and then we will put um, the keyboard here and the stool here. I might change this and put a studded one. So these I can put a real minifigure in here as opposed to the mini doll, but uh, it, it, let's just keep it as it is from there. And I think then we have another jumper plate there. We can add, at least we can add another person sat here. Let's just test her out so she can actually sit. Yeah, that works quite well. That works well. As best, best as mini dolls can. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how an actual minifigure will go into there, but uh, oh, come on, you keep falling over, let's stand you over there. Okay, 
so i think then from an interior perspective we are done so let's now work on the exterior walls so one of the things i did like um on the original feature um uh, i propose the windows and also this decoration that they have with the stock technique and these ingot bricks so i wanted to keep that original feature now one problem i had was in the original set you only had this covering one two three corners i've got four corners here uh, to work with um, so in order to keep the nice color scheme coming through i decided let's keep then for sure on the front side the same kind of design with the color and then for the back wall um because i didn't have enough of the white snot bricks i had to then go into my collection then utilize the light bluish gray and i had some uh, dark bluish gray ingots pieces i didn't have any white ones so because they're they're at the back i think we can we can get away with it if i slot those in i think we should be we should be good okay now let's work on the windows now i really liked the awnings of the windows and each of the floors has a different window design so it's going to be really good fun as i work through up each of the floors and try and uh, utilize the same window design uh, from the original set but i re really did like this one now the original set had four windows um, awnings on here so those i got one two here and then three and four here i don't have enough for a fifth window to go in the middle as this is 20 studs wide now that length long now i don't have these parts in my collection either so we're gonna have to come up with something different here but first let's just put in uh, the rest of the kind of window pieces so if I slot that in uh, did that go here I'm not sure ah I've got these the wrong way around that's why <laughs> come on Ali sort it out there we go there we go I'll just knock the back wall over okay so then that there now that fits in perfect so uh, this is kind of weird because this is a kind of kind of unsafe and you opening up a, a whole um kind of door <laughs> and this is going to be the first floor but in the actual community center set this was originally the ground floor if you didn't get the kitchen uh, set so but ah, um maybe we can add something later to become more health and safety conscious but for now we'll keep that on the side and then if i add in the other window pieces they go into here and that one then comes onto the side there and then i think these ones we can slot in quite nicely here so in the middle because again i didn't have uh, another one of the same window frame of this color and i didn't really want to mix it up too much by having a white one i think that would have looked a bit weird so i did still have these two pillar pieces um, that came with the original sets i didn't want to waste them on the back wall when it's going to be hidden so i decided let's put those in in here and then this is something a design that i got inspired from from a ninjago city uh, the original Ninjago City set uh, that I saw where they put in some stud pieces inside th this glass uh, two by six piece. And then I topped it off with some clear headlight bricks that I recently got from a pick a brick haul. I got so many of them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but there I thought they came in handy uh, for this uh, little build here. So I think that adds a bit of better texture than just having it plain and clear i think that pre that's pretty funky that, that, that i think that looks pretty cool so now we can finalize this and put in the rest of these window pieces and the awnings and i think that is starting to come to way that is starting to come together quite nicely if he can get it on properly let's put this here uh, yes that goes this way uh, oh yeah, and then let's take this plate off and put that onto there. 
and then we're, we're ready to go. I feel like something is missing here. I am missing a part here, I think. Did I drop it? Let me find it. Ah, oh, sorry about that. I dropped, <laughs> I dropped a plate. I picked it up and I, I fixed it, and everything looks kind of good and in place. So the only thing remaining now is the black back wall. So with that, I had to dig in, and I used this part that was actually from the set. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I had to go into my spare parts and get some back panels here. I didn't want to waste so many bricks by doing all this brick so these back panels are such a great brick saver um, especially when this is going to be pushed up against another building ah, let's uh, let's use the most efficient way possible um, I think and then I found this in my in, in my spare parts this lovely look this color um, on this arch piece and I thought oh maybe I can utilize that because I'm not sure where else I'm going to use it but I thought this has a nice little same color scheme or same kind of theme to the cyan and the blue and let's use it i mean we're using it for an interior anyway and the reason i wanted to do that was i wanted to try and have some kind of depth uh, for the piano uh, piece in there to kind of emulate kind of a fireplace or um, just another decorative feature um, of this building but in any case I wanted to make this quite easy to take off so then it's easier to go in and start playing and, and putting fingers in so if I put her here uh, and maybe if I put um, this guy um, chilling here uh, and watching um, because if I put this in we can actually test it actually if I slot that in now and then that goes in quite nicely there. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, you still got room. I think you still got some room to go in. And you can still utilize this. There's enough, there's enough room for a human hand. A uh, little hand <laughs> will have no problem. So I think we've got enough space and we've kept the original features and that looks nice and tidy and clean so I'm quite happy with that so if we now tile up the top and then we're ready uh, for to place it on top of the first building and then we'll be ready for the next story um, so let's see how we can I got a bunch of tile pieces here and then we can actually make it look uh, kind of pretty so if we utilize I would suggest uh, if we take these pieces and put them here, I think then we will have uh, enough. If I, maybe if I do something like this, that looks pretty cool. And then that looks kind of nice and uniform. He says, <laughs> let's see, let's see how the rest of it goes. And then because I don't have enough of this color, uh, I try to then, I had a bunch of these as well. So I think this will actually work and look quite nice. So if I put start putting these on this way around and I do like tiling, this is probably the most satisfying um, bit of doing modular buildings, you know, putting these tiles on. <laughs> and tiling in itself i don't know what it is uh let me know if you feel the same but i love just putting these little tiles on i find it extremely extremely therapeutic um okay so let's carry on so i think maybe we can put that into here um and put that across here i think we're getting there i think uh, and then yeah put that on the side here you see, I think it looks a bit silly if I leave those because I covered those up. So maybe I just put in these two into there and into there. I think that gives it a bit of a nice polished look. Mm, I think that will do for now. Uh, and then maybe we can actually just tidy this up a little bit. Uh, can we? Yeah, just to 
clean this up from here and maybe we can put that into here and I then I think that's that look quite nice hey all right so let's actually put this on top of what we did with the kitchen and see how it looks okay so we're here with the community kitchen build that we did in the previous video so we're ready now to slot in the music studio for the second floor and let's slot that in i think this is the most satisfying part of build of having modulars is this feeling you know this feel this exact feeling of taking a module off and then putting it in it's i don't know about you but i just find it extremely extremely satisfying and i think this is probably the addictive part of having lego modulars i think but i think so far we're up to a great start and i think we've got a really nice start to the build here i love the fact that we kept the original features the original design compacted up i think we have it let's give it a little twirl i think we got it great let me know what you think in the comments hope you're enjoying the journey so far so the next build and floor we've got is the green building and inside there i believe it looks like an office studio or something i think Maybe that's what it is, an office space, because I can see coffee in there, I can see a computer desk, so let's see what that is. Um, and I'm sure that's going to be a lovely, great challenge to have. Hope you enjoy that, hope it's inspired you, hope it's helped you. I'll see you in the next one, take care of yourself, peace and love.